Good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back on this February 11th. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Bonnie, good to see you. Good to see you, Bill, Grant, Rich, everyone, Lawrence, Wayne, everyone. All right. Well, listen, guys, looks like we're having a nice little up market today, which is great and exciting. Again, up 115 points. But uh, before we start talking about what's going on this morning, because obviously everybody is uh, enjoying the new buyout. God, I, I love buyouts. I love when, you know, once again, I say it all the time. I don't care about the CEOs. I don't care about these billionaires. I care about the, the people that work there because, you know what, all those employees did phenomenal. Good for them. Those give them, you know, and, and you know what, it's the employees that help make it great, that make those companies work. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now, before we get started, guys, um, just give you a heads up. My buddy Tom Sosnoff is coming on today. I hope every single one of you get registered. I got the link. I put it up there. You know, Tom, I've been friends with Tom for, Jesus, it's got to be maybe 15 years. He's the founder of, of Thinkorswim. He's a great entrepreneur, great platform. He's going to talk about it. He's going to talk about trading. You probably watched his show. You probably see me on a few times. D take the opportunity. He is, the, he is great, Deb. He's a great options trader. Um, and we're going to talk, talk to him about how we could day trade options. We're going to talk about what's happening with the options market and, I know, and, can, and how his platform works for all of us. So it's a great platform. He's got a great package, uh, great tool out there. So, guys, go out there, register right now. He's coming on at 415, and I expect every single one of you there. So please don't disappoint me, all right, because it's a value, it's a class, and you all should be there, all right? So uh, you got the link, register, and on, on our homepage or our website, I'll actually even bring it up. You go right to our homepage or our website, you can go to CybertrainVersity, OC2.co, and also, I don't know if you guys watched the new NASDAQ video, you know, on YouTube, so make sure that was a new, the new YouTube one that I just did also, but uh, go out there and register. All right, so let's talk about what's going on today, everybody, and what happened yesterday, because here's the big news, there's Sprint. Sprint's gapping up really nicely. Good for them. Stock has been on a on a really big downtrend, but obviously finally got approved. So uh, I don't know what happens. I, I don't know who you have, but I have T-Mobile. So I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing with Sprint. But um, I have to thank Sprint for one thing. They gave me the best phone number ever. All right. Now, I'm not going to make my phone number public, okay, my cell phone number. But I am going to tell you this. They gave me, I'll tell you my four, my last four digits of my cell phone, 3,000. And uh, every, I had people ask me all the time, could you sell me a cell phone number? I want to buy that number. 3,000. How do you get a 3,000 number? So I got to, it's the only thing I got to thank Sprint for. All right. Other than that, the service when I started was that great. But uh, T-Mobile is awesome. But anyway, I'm happy for them and great. But listen, it's moving. It's still moving higher. I guess they didn't figure out the buyout prices, how it's going to work out. But just be careful with these buyouts because they are pretty nuts, all right, with that and T-Mobile. But I do want to start off talking about some stocks that we traded and we did pretty well yesterday. Uh, CODX. I want to bring that up. So anyway, CODX was a great stock yesterday. We made a lot of money with it. And uh, the stock basically had a nice little trend. But then all of a sudden it tanked, you know. And uh, all I could say about this stock, let me just fix the chart on this one. All I could say about this stock is we made a lot of money on this stock. Thank God I got out. Listen, I traded this stock yesterday probably six times. I probably traded it. Got in, got out, got in, got out, got in, got out. And I'm like, and you know what? Josh called out this stock. He comes in my office right at the lunch. He goes, Fausto, you got to watch this CODX. I think something's going on. And it was right around here, around 320. But personally, I don't like to trade in the middle of the day because um, every winner that I would have had, most of them were losers. But sure enough, right at 2 o'clock, boom, I had that big spike, went from 320 to 420. But once again, this is what happens when you don't hold, you don't hold positions overnight because look where it ended up, right back to where it started. So anyway, that was a great winner for us. We did That was actually my biggest winner yesterday. So sorry if I was a little quiet going in the afternoon, but that's where I really made most of my money. Now, this stock got halted. Uh, Obviously, news on IBM having his employees uh, go out there and, use, and, and work out of works. But uh, sure enough, you could see what happened. Boom, the thing just whatever got halted and gapped down. So that's why don't ever, you know, you know and I know, there's nothing worse 
than being in a stock that gets halted. The only time I feel that halted stocks ever work for us is when, uh, when, uh, when, the, when the circuit breakers blow on it because it went up too fast. But that's the only time I ever really kind of, you know, worked on that. And other, you know, other, than, other than those other stocks that we traded, there were a couple other ones out there, but I thought those are pretty the good ones. Uh, Rite Aid also had a nice little move yesterday. Bring up Rite Aid, and then, you know, that was an early morning runner. But that really wasn't, listen, it was Monday. It wasn't, a, you know, it wasn't spectacular. Nothing, like, to, you know, to brag about. And you know that Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays are the better days to trade. And, yes, I do got a very decent list. So get your pen and paper ready, everyone. Let's start working our way down. All right. Oh, oh, oh also, I like I want to mention, the CSQ, guys, I talked about it yesterday. I've owned it for a few years now. For some of you missed it, they've raised their dividend from 8.5% to 9.5%. That's 12%. We killed it on CSQ. Great, great swing trade. Hopefully, everybody enjoyed it. And uh, especially, hopefully, a lot of you got into it when I bought it last year when we had the nice little Christmas crash, which was really the awesome right there, that Christmas crash right there. And uh, everybody should have had it right around $10 or whatever. But uh, that was probably... That was probably my best winner swing trade because it really was up about 50%, and I get paid 9, 9 9.5% money on that. Awesome. Got to love those stocks. Anyway, all right, so let's go through the watch list and see what's going on. There are a couple of stocks. We know about Sprint, all right? So put Sprint on your watch list. So Sprint we already know about. Let's talk about some other ones that are moving. ADXS. All right, so we had a nice little pop in that one too. Only thing I do not like about it, it is a penny stock. Okay, uh, and you know what you know about penny stocks, how why we stay away from them. But uh, I know I had a little bit of a pop early this morning. Some of you guys did pretty well on it, so that one was not bad. GNPX, that one also nice little cheap little stock. Started at a buck twenty-five. It is a Nasdaq National stock. Stock went to a buck sixty. We've traded this stock uh, back in December. I mean in January, stock went from a dollar to two dollars. Got good volatility. If you've done your journals, go back and check on it and see how you did on it, right? But if you remember, we did really, really well on that stock. SAVA. So this one, I don't know what happened with this one. This one had a great move. I thought it was going to be pretty good in pre-market. You could see how it had a really nice move here. Hold on. Uh, right here, it had a nice pop. I don't know what happened. So all of a sudden, it kind of backed off. So now I'm a little skeptical on it, but it did trade a lot of shares, 300,000 shares. It's got a nice little iceberg order right here at... 850 for a close, for 9,700 shares. Kind of explains it why it's, it's having a tough time right there, right around 9 o'clock. Uh, okay, so let's talk about some brand name stocks. Under Armour. Who would ever think Under Armour, right? You hear all the good news, uh, uh, Nike breaking higher highs. What's going on Under Armour, for crying out loud? Under Armour taking a huge hit. The only thing I like about Under Armour, though, it's testing September's, I mean, November's support levels. So it could build, it could have some good support levels. Now, there are two stocks in Under Armour. This is like, there's a warrant, which you can see a Class A share here, and you got UA, all right, it's a C share. So they, there's two different classes of shares out there, and, you know, obviously I'm not going to teach you about, you know, voting rights and non-voting rights of stock prices, but anyway, one moves, the other one moves simultaneously with it. Now, um... A couple of the stocks I just want you to keep an eye on. Everybody remember about MYO. We killed it on MYO. Remember that stock? Ten It was like literally four days ago. $10 to $40, right? People like, not, not so funny. I, I get messages from people like, well, why is it down to 640 Fausto? Listen, you think I care why it's at 640 You should have talked to me three days ago. But um, stocks coming to reality. This has to be one of the greatest short squeezes of 2000 uh, and 2020. Uh, I thought it was Tesla. Now, this one de definitely is. By the way, keep an eye on that Tesla. I was listening. I was looking at some reports, reading overnight. There's some people have some big issues with that stock. There's a huge short squeeze on that stock, especially now the rumor that there's a rumor going around that Google might buy him because they have all the money in the world. Uh, consider paying $1,500 for that stock. So... Pretty scary right there. Anyway, NYCO was a great short squeeze. We killed it on that one. And I also want to bring up uh, DAO. Another one that had a huge run-up 
but now it's coming back down. So we watched this stock go from 16 to 30, literally going up 100%. Now she's backing off. So just be very careful. The only issue I had with this stock right here, I know some of you trade it. It is a level five stock, which some of you really are not. And had, had you know, and obviously this is something we're going to be talking in class today because remember classes start today here at CyberTrade University. And uh, it's all about tradable and non-tradable guys. Remember, the, the, the most expensive part of your trade is buying, is getting out of the stock. That's the most expensive part of trade because if you're wrong, it's not about the it's not about the ticket price. It's not about the ECN cost. It's all about the spread. Okay, so be very careful about this stock right here. All right, um, what do we got going on over here? Uh, Benito's looking at the ONTX trade. They did pretty well on that one. Yeah, I know it's a little, the only issue. It's a penny stock right there, but he did pretty well on that one. And uh, and also the S, which we all know is doing pretty well. So anyway, I like that S trade. I like that sprint trade. It's, you know, it's not like, it, it, listen, it started this morning, went from $8 if everybody got in at 8 o'clock, and look, it's already at 8.50. So you, it's always nice to start out the morning with a nice little push. All right, so those are our watch lists, guys. Not a big list, not a big list, but what it is what it is, and, uh, you know, we got what we have. So we always find new ones that do pop up. So when you see something, say something, and hopefully all you new traders here and listeners that, uh, that are watching this on our broadcasting live on YouTube and and Facebook. Listen, if you want to know more about Cybertrade University, just sign up and you'll get in the trading room. You'll see how we do it. All right. Uh, and then, like I told you, don't forget, everybody, Tom Sosnoff tonight, well, this afternoon, when the market closes at 4.15, once he's done with his show, he's jumping on here at Cybertrade University, and he's going to talk about all the great things. Uh, and believe me, I had some great, great questions to ask him, so don't miss it. So I expect every single one of you to register Right now, all right, before class starts, before the market opens up, because you know nothing's going to happen in the next 15 minutes. All right, any questions, everyone? Anything else? Got the link right there. There you go. All right, so um, remember, classes start right after this. Traders Talk starts at 12 o'clock. Um, afternoon classes are going to start, and you have... The uh, Tom Sosnoff. Remember, it's a really busy, busy day. You do not go anywhere. This is what we do on Tuesdays. Remember, this is hump day, so it's time to put your head down and, and remember, make your money early, get into class afterwards, and because uh, that's how you're supposed to do it. All right, guys? Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll be starting live commentary in the Cyber Group room in 15 minutes when the market opens up. All right? Meantime, get your registration done. See you all in class, everybody. Good luck and happy trading.